Hi everyone, I'm Joanne. Welcome back to my channel for day 12 of Junk Journal July. Day 12 is packaging. So let's move ahead. I love this one from yesterday. I think it's next to the postcard one. Where's postcard? This is my postcard. Um, this is my favorite. All right, packaging. So I thought I had white packaging along with brown packaging, but I seem to just have the brown packaging. So let's just rip some of this. I mean, I ha do have a lot of envelopes with different things on it, like bubbles, you know, things like that, bubble envelopes. Um, so let's just start with this. Hi, Sky. Hi, babies. Sky decided to join me on the floor. He was sick the other day. I forget what day it was, but yeah, two days ago. So I pretty much just watched him for most of the day. Well, <laughs> meaning I didn't go anywhere. I didn't just sit here and stare at my cat, but you know what I mean. All right, so I think I'll put the packaging on. And it doesn't matter if it goes over here. Pretty soon I have to add, oh, I do have to add on to here or I'm not gonna have enough. All right, why do I feel out of white gluing paper? I do have a magazine on the floor. I guess I could use this. How about a page I'm not gonna use? My craft room needs a little love and attention. <laughs> Maybe today. It's going to be a rainy, stormy day here, which I welcome. It wasn't that bad yesterday. It was only like 92 or something, and the humidity was down. So it was a pretty nice day. But today we're supposed to get storms, and I love a good storm. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. A good storm that doesn't do damage to, you know, property and people. That's my, that's what I mean by that. Uh, so, here we are. <laughs> More than a third throw our junk journal July. Where does the time go? I'm excited because in a couple weeks I go to the Creative Keepsakes Expo in Lancaster, which I really, really love. Now, I left these out. You know, I used this yesterday. Tim Holtz under, under this. And I put some um, gesso on the top. But I have other ones. I have this one, which is, what is this called? Transportation. And then I have the black and white one which is botanical. I don't think I'm gonna use the black and white one in this, but I might use transportation. I love this paper. I don't think I've used this yet. So my thought was to put like a side pocket or something. So maybe I wanna do that first and then put this on the top. Maybe that's what I want to do. And then I have, I pulled out some, oh, sorry. I didn't mean to, I pulled out, I have all this nice tissue paper, which is packaging in my mind. Oh, yikes, I have to put this away. Look at this. I didn't realize it wasn't with my vintage and antiques, 1926. Wow. So this is truly packaging for that beautiful, yeah, I have to put that away. All right, and then I have this, 
which I love. I got this. Hmm. Maybe this is what I want to make my pocket out of. I don't know if it would, it would, um, I don't know if it would stay well. I have thicker, like, bag. Hey, baby. Okay, I'm going to speed this up a little bit. So I do have, like I said, this thick um, bag, and it works out pretty well because it even has a notch on it. And I just want to cut it down to the size of what the pocket's going to be. So I believe it's five and a half inches, my journal. Yeah, five and a half by five and a half. So I'll uh, rip some off first so that I have a usable piece and then start to cut it down a little bit so that I can fit it into, into the pocket. So I'll just use my straight edge to do that. And it takes me a couple, couple minutes to get it the right size. It's still too long, not by much though. I remember saying, I hope I don't go through all this and then uh, make it too small, which is ever so slightly too small, but that's okay. <laughs> it still works out okay. Yeah, so I hope everybody's well, and uh, whew, it's been a summer, hasn't it? It's been a hot summer for sure. Summers in New Jersey are always hot, though. It's just the way it is, but this summer seems to be exceptionally hot. So I kind of like the um, pocket on the left, but I don't want to cover up that pretty, uh, pretty paper that's on the left. So I'm going to take this uh, tissue paper, this collage paper from Tim Holtz, and <clears throat> use my matte medium and stick down on top of my pocket. You know, hindsight, I maybe should have used the black and white one. It definitely would have popped, but, uh, you know, this, this page turns out fine. It's definitely not my favorite, but I don't hate it. I don't hate anything in this journal. I don't know what that noise is. I hope that's not my oven. <laughs> I just got like beep, 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 beep. Never have heard that before in my lifetime. I don't know if you could hear it. But um, so when this is dry, if you had a thicker um, substrate under the collage paper, you can actually use like an emery board um, or just rip it. But I'm going to let this dry, and I might even use my blow dryer. All right, so it's dry enough that I could um, use it. Although I have to tell you, my two-inch round punch doesn't feel the same way. Um, I may have ruined it, honestly. It just it was a little too wet for that. But I did like the look yesterday of stamping. So I might stamp on top of this. Um, I kind of want a flower, I think, I think, I think. What else do I have that would look good on this? Let me just take a little, little gander here. I have mushrooms. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know. I think this might look good on that. Where's my ink? Here it is. Let's get this out. I think I want to do this way. this and just ink up part of it. I don't even know if this is a color that Stampin' Up! still makes, but if it is, I could 
could definitely use a another one um, since it's so, so destroyed. All right, let's do this here. That crinkling noise you hear is my kitty climbing on bags like plastic packaging. <laughs> oh yeah, I like that. Yeah, I like that a lot. I'm wondering, should I put something else up here? I think I will. I think I'll come into the other half. and hit the top. It's funny how you do one layout and then your journal goes into a little bit of a different direction or <clears throat> you continue to you know, do, the, do what you did. And I really like the look of the stamps on this. So, all right. We're gonna go with that. That is not dry. And I don't wanna end up with a big mess on there because it's not, but um, maybe about how far is this in? All right, till about right there. Sky, you're gonna create a big avalanche. Not that you care, but I do. I do. Hi, babies. Now he's looking in the trash, going, hmm. There's always interesting things in there. Always, always, always. This doesn't quite go all the way up which is okay. Yeah, it's not hitting the packaging. Okay. Now I ask. My scissors are stuck to my <clears throat> thingy there. There's a rather nice too. I like these stickers because they're very matte. I got them in a kit from Amazon. It came with like a journal and a million stickers and I got it a really long, I didn't want to use this one. I don't even know why I'm pulling this one out. I am not with it friends. Where's the one I wanted? This one. Anyhow, it was really super inexpensive. It was like four or five dollars and I had posted. This has gone back probably a year. And a lot of other people purchased it, but I do like the stickers. The only thing is you do see the white around them. Um, I don't know if I like that as much as I thought I was going to. All right, so maybe not. I don't know if I want the giant dragonfly. Maybe this one. Kind of 
has the same color story going on. Yeah, I think this one might be a little better here. I wish there was some way to get rid of that white. Oh, there, there is. And it's right here. Vintage photo takes care of everything, <laughs> in my opinion. All right, I like that, I think. But do I want a bird? Do I want a butterfly? I always want a butterfly. It's funny, when I started crafting, or journaling, I start crafting, you know, when I was a young child. But um, I wasn't really on the butterfly bandwagon and... Now I use them so much. Um, I just kind of, he's too big. Maybe a little guy. Maybe just a baby. I feel like this is like a really long video for such a simple little project here. And then, and then, let me just look at these again here. Make sure there isn't anything else I want on here. No, I don't think so. And then I'm just going to decorate a tag at some point and stick that in there. I think some point should probably be now. Oh, there's that. It's that tag. Where'd that come from? <laughs> it came from in here. All right, I have other tags. So let me um, grab a tag. I'm going to decorate it, I think, off camera because this is getting to be ridiculous. And um, I'm just going to put it in there and be happy with this layout. I'll be right back. All right, so instead of decorating it, I think that this one looks fine in here you can write on it <clears throat> journal on it journal on it and uh, I think it goes with this whole little aesthetic here this page and uh, yeah simple layout and I think I might write packaging and put it on here it needs it needs a little something else so let's do that and I'll be done Okay, here it is with the word packaging at the bottom. I think it kind of needed that. And it's a simple layout as usual. Um, and I appreciate you watching and have a great day and have fun with your creating today. All right, I'll see everyone in my next video.